guys. Um, so we are back in Chatham, New York today. And what we're doing is, it's not gonna be a real long ride, but we're scoping out the uh, single track sections of the farmer's daughter gravel grinder that's coming up in a few weeks, which we've signed up for. And we did that event last year and um, those were some of the more challenging sections of the course. There was a couple of single track sections that were particularly challenging for me because I'm I'm not very good at riding um, off-road single track mountain bike type of stuff. Um, these single tracks are not, you don't really need a mountain bike for it. You can ride it with a gravel bike, but I'm not very skilled. So, you know, I did struggle on those sections last year. And so we're coming here today just really to practice those uh, couple of sections. And we'll probably um, do each section uh, a couple of times. And um, hopefully that will sharpen up the skills a little bit. Uh, and uh, just just ingrain the memory of those of those uh, trails into into my mind so that you know, I'm a little more comfortable with it when when we come to the event. Also, I just wanted to mention that um, I changed I followed what Joy did and copied her and, got the same wheel set and tires that she has on on her gravel bike so now we uh we're truly twins out there with the the blue and black lauf anywheres and the zip 303 s wheels and the maxis rambler tires uh, so you can see these tires are not really knobby but there is you know a little bit of knob to them and the tires I was using were the Maxxis uh, Velocita, which is a slick tire. And um, hopefully the having a little bit of knobs will help me with um, the single track and you know any um, any bumpy sections or sandy or muddy sections. Uh, so hopefully it's a ends up being a more versatile tire. Good morning. So. As Jason said, or I don't know if he ever mentioned to you that it's someone's special day today. It's Jason's birthday. So happy 40 yet? 41. I, can, I can't keep track of our age. He's 41 years old. So happy birthday to Jason. I don't think he ever mentioned it in the intro. For good reason. <laughs> So uh, we're here to just recon the two trails, the two single track sections. Uh, the last single track section is uh, pretty doable, except there is a vertical climb. There's, a, there's a pretty much a really steep climb that most people push their bikes up. It's really hard to ride it. So most people ride, uh, most people push their bikes up this climb and then pretty much it's a short single track section and it turns into double track. So we won't be able to, to recon that, but we'll definitely be doing the first two trails. So we'll see you out in the road. Make sure you shift down. Good job. That wasn't too bad. You just gotta like get some speed going into it. Yeah. 
not sure if it rained here overnight, but it is, there's some slight muddy sections, which I don't mind because it was pretty muddy last year. So I don't mind the extra mud fest. This section last year had some bottlenecking. There's a lot of leaves. Yeah. I don't really remember there being this many leaves. I can see why it was a lot of bottlenecking. It's kind of steep. The leaves make it hard to go up this hill. Oh, there's also a bunch of, uh, I don't know, horse poop or something there. Yeah. Well, I only, I only saw it once I started walking. What did you uh, set my tire pressure? Uh, normal, what you have it normally. Oh, dang, I forgot to change it. I feel a little bumpy. Yeah, I do too, actually. I probably should lower mine a little bit. Okay. Oh, if it, yeah, see, if it didn't have that obstacle at the end of it, you could probably just blast through the water. Yeah. But, man, yeah, this, see, this is why the thing bottlenecks. Okay, wet shoes, wet socks. Okay. All right, just don't go too deep. I didn't get any water in my socks there. Uh, should we move this out of the way? I actually think it could be doable. Yeah, this metal stuff definitely doesn't belong there. The, the thing I'm concerned with is, you know, in order to avoid this, you kind of have to... I have to go over the rocks there. Yeah, unless you can, like, unless you think you can make a tight turn here, like, if you come down straight almost as if, like, come down straight almost like you're going into these logs, but turn around them quickly at the end. Yeah. I don't know if you can do that. I think I have a, I sort of see a line that I could try. So I just got to look at where I'm going. I'm kind of afraid. I was going to say, if, if you want to take it in sort of pieces, you could just go down and stop, with, and stop. Uh, just, just, just plan. Yeah. Just plan on unclipping. Like, don't even worry about, don't even worry about this side of it. Just like go down and get through the water and then unclip. Whoa. See, it's really, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, it doesn't look as bad right now, but the fact that I have to go straight, it, it doesn't look bad. Uh, well, to be honest with you, during the event, it's going to bottleneck there. You're probably not going to be able to ride it anyway. So. Yeah. So over here is fine. It, I remembered it was pretty muddy last year. Oh, where are you going, honey? Don't slow 
down on the mud. That's why. I wonder if that's why. Yeah, there's another uh, creek there, I remember. Yeah. So this section, whew, pretty rocky, and if it rains again, definitely can get pretty muddy. And this is the creek section, but it has, yeah, you'd really have to, it's a pretty, it's pretty steep. And then there's a tree, like a tree in the way. So if you're definitely can do it on a mountain bike, not something, I don't know, unless you're super skilled and I you know some of you may be, but I'll be doing this that Jason's doing. I'll be doing this if I can. I'll be jogging if I can. Guess I'll be carrying my bike. Yeah. No, it was muddy last year. Oh, I sorry. Don't mean to spook you. Sorry, don't mean to spook you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. try to see if I can if I can get it this is what I always am afraid of on the mountain bike it's like little rocks oh got it Oh man, another one. Dang it. Oh, this one. Keep pedaling, keep pedaling. Good job. Good job, honey. That was kind of scary, right? Um, it wasn't too bad, actually. The uh, the uphills don't scare me that much because worst case if I fall it's not gonna hurt that badly if like I'm I'm going such a low speed. Okay, now this definitely is not rideable right here. So it's almost like you got to pick and choose what sections you want to ride, what sections you want to kind of run across. And last year this was pretty muddy. Bud. Oh boy. I, I don't know why I got off. 
Darn it. Well, my my time for that section was 12:38. I mean, I don't really know uh, if I should consider that good or bad for me, but because um, that was the first time I actually timed it. But I'm really happy with that because the only times that I dismounted were intentional. Like I knew I was I knew I was going to dismount going into those sections, so I had no blips where. I, you know, had to unclip because I couldn't handle something. Um, you know, the, anytime I got off the bike, I was planning on doing it um, before I did it. So, you know, it was kind of minimal stoppage time and, you know, no crashes or anything, obviously. And 
um, I just tried to you know do a sort of a when I did get off the bike do sort of a fast jog to the next point where I thought I could clip in so I know it'll be a little more difficult on the day of the event because you know fi especially finding a spot to clip in again because there's going to be people coming through the trail so um, but yeah I'm pretty happy with that how about you yeah for me I uh, yeah pretty happy with the run I don't have the time up um, but like Jason said I did also dismount on certain points where I was it was just not uh, worth riding it so I'm willing to give up a few um, seconds to just dismount and run up those sections and uh, yeah pretty th pretty happy with it I was trying to practice my dismount and the last section I did finally do it it was hard it was kind of an awkward dismount but when I say dismount I'm talking about like how the cyclocross riders do it so I'm gonna try to continue to practice that and uh, hopefully you know utilize it for these sections where you know you're riding and then getting off and riding again so we're gonna go head back to the car yeah. and we're gonna check out trail two so we're over here on the second trail it's hand hollow conservation area we were talking in the car that we do recall there are some rocky sections so we're just gonna make sure that we take it easy on those parts all right let's get going I want to say it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't remember. Because I saw the lake and I'm like, wait, I think we're supposed to hug the lake. Sorry, I didn't mean to stop us. Oops. Shoot. Forgot to start my ride. I jumped over that. <laughs> well, sort of. Oops.
It's a lot more fun than it was last time. <laughs> we went. You can probably clear that. I just no, no not enough. I, I, I lost my momentum. Yeah, because it's super. It's kind of rooty over here. I, I was able to go over the last one because it was downhill. But... Oh. You probably could have just gone over the center. I'm going to try it. Oh, right. Good job. Oh, sorry, my bike's in the way. I think it might be around here that we have to be careful with. Uh, this is the spot right here that's rideable, right through here. Yeah. Except then you have the tree. Yeah. Of, like my arm might hit the tree. I mean, I guess eh, this part might be rideable, but without suspension, I don't know, it might be a little. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know it's not. Over here, what do we got? Oh, just a little step down. Over here. Oh. Oh, yeah, the bridge is, you have to, it'll be a little bump getting onto it there. It's kind of awkward because it's going in an angle, or you could go in the creek. I think you could probably go through the creek. It's like, it's only a couple inches deep, and there aren't any, like, really big rocks in the way there. There's just these, this poop that's in the way. Yeah, I probably stepped in it. I didn't oh. see it there. Did I step in it? <laughs> I don't know. It's... No, I think it's just regular. Right yeah, I, I mean, it's not a steep, it's not steep going up that section. I'm going to do the bridge. I think you just have to get in and go into it with speed. Yeah. I didn't go fast enough. Yeah, you kind of slowed down. I know there's that, there's the roots there. It's well, kind of an awkward angle, but I mean, I think if you made like a wide left turn yeah. and then go into it straight, because okay. if you were able to go over that little pipe earlier, you should be able to go over this. All right. Yeah, even then I slowed down a little too much. Like you really got to like, almost like sprint through it. If you just do like, if you just do a lot of power, you'll, you'll get through it.
Easily, see? I just lifted the top one. Yeah. No, it's fine. I thought it was my tires. Why? Hmm. What's the best line? Yeah. 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 See, the problem is, what I wanted to do see, was, was what I was not thinking of. What I wanted to do was swoop around the right side yeah. because there is like a little bit of swoop like right, yeah. there there is the rocks are shorter on that side coming through here, coming yeah. through the wall. Yeah. Um, but when I tried to swoop around to the right, I kind of like slipped out a little bit when I just yeah. did that. What if it's going straight, straight through? Is that way too many bumps? Which is very muddy. Yeah. I don't think I can make it through that mud. It's going to come to a halt. Great job, honey. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. What? I said, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm, I'm finding it to be not that hard today. I gotta lap it. Come on.
You okay? Your pedal hit that one. I know sometimes when um, when I crash, you know, sometimes I it's hard for me to look at that same section and say, oh, I can ride this because I've had that experience of crashing in that same spot. So hopefully he's not shaken up too much where he feels like every little bump on a trail is going to cause him to crash. Well guys, that was a great ride. Um, the second single track is a lot of fun if hopefully it stays dry like that. Um, but it is super fun, kind of rooty in some sections and you could see where Jason crashed. There's this pipe that runs across the trail and it's set up, it's set up in an angle. And so when your tire goes over it, it will tend to slip because of the way it's angled on trail. And so that's how he went down. Um, so I just rode my bike or I just lifted my bike over it. So it's a little short sections. And uh, let's see what Jason has to say. Yeah, it's it's a little too bad that I, I didn't get the perfect day. Um, I did have one crash. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't a bad one. I think I have a little, maybe uh -oh. a little scrape on my elbow, but. It looks like you got a, oh no, not another blood bump. Yeah, it looks like we got. It's a, a small. It's not. At least it's not like the yeah, just uh, a little. The cut that I had when when I crashed mountain biking several several years ago. This one's nothing. It's, it's just a little scratch. It'll. Uh, I'll just uh, sanitize it and you know treat it. Um, yeah, but aside from the crash, uh, you know, I'm I'm really even considering the crash. I'm still happy with with how my day went. Um, I handled the trails a lot better than I thought I was capable of. So, so when we do this uh, this single track section in the farmer's daughter, I'm going to have to decide whether I want to just try. When I get to that pipe, do I want to just try it and approach it differently, or do I want to just not chance it and hop over it? You know, get off the bike, hop over it quick. Um, I'll have to I'll have to decide that, but. Um, I'm feeling a lot more confident um, heading into that event and ready to to handle these couple of single track sections. You know, it's I'm by no means ripping through them, uh, but you know, for me, I'm pretty happy with um, with my pace going through them, and um, at least I know that I can survive them uh, during the event and not lose too much time. So. You know, my strength is going to be doing a lot of tempo in between, um, in between these single tracks. We are going to head over to where? Are we um, going to the, our daily bread or no? Um, I mean, if you want to, we can go there. I kind of just want to go home. Okay. All right. We're just going to go home then. All right, guys. Until next time, don't forget to enjoy your rides. Bye-bye.